Praise the Lord. God bless you in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Every video that I make, I pray to the Lord that it reaches the right persons. I specifically prayed for this one. That it reaches the person that God is speaking to because there is a very serious prophetic word that the Lord has just released. My name is Samuel E. Molombe and always I bring you a fresh word from God. I bring you prophetic directions. I bring you prophetic inst you know, instructions as the Lord lays in my spirit. And uh, I just join my faith praying with you. I want you to open your heart and receive this word in the name of Jesus. Let us pray before we get this prophetic word for today. Father, I thank you for your child that is watching. Thank you for your son or your daughter. I pray, Lord, that you stir their hearts towards obedience in the name of Jesus. And I pray that you help me, give me utterance to speak it just like you have laid it in my heart. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Guys, I want you to take very serious this prophetic instruction. For some reason, I feel so much weight. I heard the Lord very clearly for this. Rarely do you hear me say that. I hear the Lord. I heard the Lord very clearly. And I believe that this word is for you that is watching right now. The Lord says, trust my direction. God says, trust my direction. Don't question my direction. Do not question my direction. God says, trust my direction. Do not question my direction. Guys, it is very hard to keep going when you do not know the direction. I wrote down here. It is hard to keep going when you don't know where you are going. It is so difficult. And that's where some of you are. You know, there is a sense of control that human beings want to have about their lives you want to you know know where at least if you don't if you're not knowing 10 years from now but you want to know the step to take tomorrow it gives you some confidence it gives you some level of you know uh, um, um, security but i have noticed in my work with god that god wants total dependence on him and except you have been in this position you will not understand how demanding it is Total dependence, absolute dependence will make you silence your mind. It will make you believe in the things that you are yet to you know, see with your physical eyes more than the things that you see in your physical eyes. Direction is one of the greatest needs of a man. Direction is one of the greatest reasons why people find themselves in the situations that they find themselves. Man's greatest problem is the problem of direction. That's what I believe. And God is speaking to you directly today, right now at this moment, that you have got to trust his direction. You have got to quit fighting with him and trust his direction. The Bible says that my spirit will not strive with man anymore. God doesn't want to engage in a fight. He knows where he wants to take you. He knows the right route. If the Lord has been declared your shepherd, let him lead you beside still waters. Hmm. I've just spoken a very deep thing now. If the Lord has, you have accepted the Lord as your shepherd, let him lead you beside sea waters. He's going to lead you beside dead situations, beside desertious situations, in quote. Beside, he's going to lead you through the valley of the shadow of death. He's still God. Can you imagine that God led, the Spirit of God led Jesus to the wilderness? Nothing lives in the wilderness. It's a dry, it's a barren land. Yes, the Spirit led him there so that he can return by the power of the Spirit. Glory to God. God says, I have called you into a secret mission. Into a mission that is not supposed to be understood by men. God says, if I let you know the complete plan, your emotions can hinder it. You might want to bring many more people in than I actually have intention for. So I have hid the plan from you. To build your faith. To make you depend totally on me. God says trust him. The character that came to my spirit as the Lord dropped this word is Abraham. God spoke to Abraham and says get thee out of your country, your kindred, your, your father's house to a land I will show you. 
as of the time of this instruction, Abraham wasn't a teenager. He wasn't a baby. He had a family. He had a life. He was established in the place where God was trying to eject him from. Okay, God should have been kind enough to tell him where he's going. At least he will be able to make some arrangements because he has a wife and a family. There are people who are looking up to him. But God says to a land that I will show you. You see, God always wants you to depend on him. So he hides the end. Shows you the beginning and tells you to walk by his dictate. He has, that's always been the, 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 the procedure, the standard procedure of God. Children of Israel, he led them by the pillar of cloud by day and the pillar of fire by night. They had to move when he was moving. They didn't know where they were going. The, the, the route of the pillar of cloud and fire were not predetermined. They only discovered it at the instant they were moving their steps. Abraham again did not know where he was going. But Abraham knew with whom he was going. I tell that again. Abraham did not know where he was going. But he knew with whom he was going. This is a prophetic word to you. Trust God's direction. Trust God's guidance. Trust that God is able to bring you to an expected end. Hallelujah. Trust that God can do the things that he has said he will do. If you don't know his direction, pray. When you hear it, act on it. How do I know if it's God's leading? When you feel peace, it's God. I told you that already several times. When you feel peace, then it's God. Always pitch your tent where you find peace. Satan doesn't want you to believe in God. He doesn't want you to believe in him. Because the greatest thing that can happen to your life is the moment you decide to come completely under the government governance of God. Under the leadership of the Lord Jesus Christ. As a matter of fact, that is the mark of your sonship in Christ. He says, they that are led by the Spirit, the same are the sons of God. Trust his direction. God is leading you right now as I speak in my heart. I'm hearing the voice of the Lord. He's leading you towards a place where your physical body, your flesh is not comfortable. Yes, he can lead you towards that. He can lead you to where your heart is smashed. God can lead you there. He can lead you to where, you know, you are being maltreated, rough handled. Yes, God can lead you there. All things work together for the good to them that love God and accord according to his purpose. I want you to lift up your hand and say, Lord, I trust you. I trust your will for my life and help me to synchronize myself to that will forever. Amen. I bless you today in the name of Jesus. Shalom.